Mr. Ash Mufari had an idea that would revolutionize business online and offline. In his wisdom and caring and loving heart, he took that idea and that idea formed the beginning of an IT company that is destined to change the lives of millions perhaps billions for the better. For over 20 plus years, Mr. Mufare has been engaged in this space called the Internet. The knowledge that he has acquired and put into practice, has made him very wealthy. His success has created a legacy for his family that will last for generations. Mr. Mufari's personal financial goals have been attained. He could rightly ride off into the sunset and be proud of his accomplishments. But that is not who he is. He wanted more, but not for him and his family. He wanted others to feel the joy of being successful. For over 20 years Mr. Mufare has been in the information technology arena of the internet. Being a person who has observed what has happened to billions of users on the internet, trying to have success and failing, brought sadness to his heart. The companies that have been providing tools that ordinary people are using, to try to be successful, are to be commended for opening the doors to a new way of being able to go in business for the ones who have ventured out of their comfort zones. The tools provided by these companies have been developed as the best that technology at that time could produce. Those companies made it possible for the masses of people to be able to dream. Offline companies required heavy investments and knowledge to be able to go in business for many who wanted to but couldn't afford to. So thank you IT companies for trying to help. What those companies didn't realize was that a man of integrity was paying attention to what was happening to the users of those tools. Mr. Ash Mufare was paying attention and he was saddened by what he was seeing on the internet that was causing 97% of the users of those products to fail. Mr. Mufare said that now was the time to develop the idea that he had and create something that would benefit those 97% of users of those products that were making them unsuccessful. In the summer of July 2018, his creation begins to take shape. It started out without a name, but he had a plan of action. Mr. Mufare would be a supplier of his own digital products. He would call his company own passive. So now he was ready to market these digital products to internet users. But now he was doing something that the other companies were already doing. It didn't make sense to do the same thing that all those other companies were doing and expecting to bring about a change. On Passive was not in control of their products because they were not the manufacturer of those products. So Mr. Mufare came up with the idea of developing his own digital products from scratch or ground up. He canvassed the world of technology looking for the very best technology geniuses on this planet. His research led him to the country of India. He started hiring the best technical staff to work for him. He was able to recruit engineers, code developers, data scientists, infrastructure personnel, and others who had expertise in what he would develop. On Passive started its technical operations in Kolkata, India. While that was going on Mr. Mufari started the process of having founders come in as business partners with him. So in July 2018, On Passive was no longer just an idea in the head and heart of Mr. Mufare. On Passive was an information and technology company, manufacturing their own digital products. On Passive's USA headquarters was in Orlando, Florida. Now he was ready to market to the world, so he thought. But what he had manufactured in digital products would have a ceiling. He could have opened own passive to the world back in the winter of 2018, but own passive would have been grouped in with other manufacturers of digital products. He didn't believe that the way own passive was developed at that time, it could thrive on the internet as a provider of just digital products. While that was happening, own passive had outgrown its facilities in Kolkata, India. They needed more space, so they moved to Bangalore, India. Mr. Mufare was now looking to develop the first and only total internet solution of state-of-the-art suite of digital products powered by artificial intelligence and machine learning. Mr. Mufare and his staff didn't invent this science. 
they enhanced it. That enhancement made it proprietary. That cannot be copied. Mr. Mufare and his staff had created the first and only legitimate fully automated done-for-you system called CATMO. That was the power of artificial intelligence and machine learning technology. Founders were streaming into own passive. Now they had to develop a platform that could handle the volume of founders coming into own passive. Mr. Mufare and his staff created the platform called GoFounders.net. Over in India, on passive was expanding and growing rapidly. To keep up with the growth of own passive, a larger facility had to be acquired. A stunning building in the hotbed of information and technology giants in Hyderabad in Telangana, India was leased to own passive. In that building are the absolute best technology minds in the science of artificial intelligence and machine learning. They developed the Founders.net platform. Now because of the massive growth of own passive, a much bigger platform was created. That platform is called OFounders.net. On Passive not only outgrew its facilities but also outgrew GoFounders.net. Thank you for being the hub of On Passive. On Passive appreciates all you have done. GoFounders.net is enshrined into On Passive's Hall of Fame. Welcome to OFounders.net. Technology for the ages that will usher On Passive to the largest information and technology company ever created and eventually the largest company in the world. The world will soon know what all founders know, Catmo. Mr. Ash Mufaria and staff have done it again. We are in to win it. We have won it.